Hey guys, this is Colton Tack and on Sonic Boom Fan 101, and welcome back to my walkthrough of my Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. This is part 7. And yeah, as you may know, on the previous part, I eventually had to fix up the sound on the speakers by putting the speaker plug into the right cable because in the first few parts, it was in the wrong cable. That's probably the problem of the sound. Anyway, I believe in this part we're going to be going into the Windows XP tour for this. So, let's go into the Dell Dimension 4600. We're going to turn it on. And yeah. Since now that the sound works on this computer, I'm now going to be able to start using it now. I'm going to start going into the Windows XP tour for this part now that I finally got a chance to fix the sound. So yeah, I'm very, very proud about setting this computer up. Like, you see, um, <clears throat> while the computer starts up, you know, um, you know, probably after I sign in, uh, I'm going to, like, show you all about, like, how it's all plugged in. So, anyway, let's log in. Okay, it's logging me in now. Yeah, welcome Colton, loading your personal settings. So yeah, I'm very glad it's doing this. And see the speakers are on? So that means um, the sound's on, and I think it works. I, f I think the sound's on. But anyway, let's see. Uh, okay, that kind of scared me. It, tur it turns out that, um, I think the sound for the thing probably might be wrong. You know, I, uh, we'll have to, like, take a look at the sounds in just a minute. But anyway, we're going to have to take a look at the cable. So, yeah, there's this outlet right here. See, see, look at this. This is all we have plugged in. I'm not sure which one is which, but I, I know that the this plug right here, this is where the speakers are plugged in. But, um... I know, I'm not sure which one was the monitor, and I'm not sure which one is the treadmill thing. But I know that this one, this plug right here that I'm touching right now, it's the black one right here. If that's the desktop computer plug. Anyway, once again, like always, this is going to have to take time to log me in. So yeah, give me some time. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and it's logging me in, but... uh. Still, however, um, this is going to take time for me to have, like, this, like, you know, this speaker part right here. One focus camera. Focus. Focus. You know what? Never mind. Anyway, uh, this is where the clock is. I had to fix the clock yesterday. I had to fix the clock on the previous part. So this is really good. I, I'm very happy I got this working in them. I'm very glad that I'm st I could still be logged in after how my dad had to activate Windows for standard users to be in there forever. This is really good. I'm very proud to use this now. Yeah, take a look at this like this keyboard right here. And this mouse. And these speakers and this whole desktop computer right here. This is where it turns on. And then yeah, this monitor uh, is like showing everything here, but it's still taking time for the speaker thing, you know, the sound properties thing to come out. So I'll be right back. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Wait, there are unused icons on your desktop. The desktop cleanup wizard can help you clean up your desktop. Click this balloon to start with. No, thank you. I'm not doing that. Anyway, let's see, but I, I get it already. I'm going to right click on the volume option. Wait, what the heck is that? Look, we get that, but I don't need to do that. I don't I don't need to use the wizard. Shut up. You know what? This will take time. So for the whole time I'm going to have to uh I'll pause now. Give me a minute. Okay, I'm back. I had to open this sound. Up. If you choose a new scheme, your previous scheme will be lost because you did not save it. Do you want to save the previous scheme? No, I'm not doing that. 
Anyway, I'm just gonna have a Windows default like always, because I mean, I just want it like that. And take a look at how I, when I click on Start Windows. Well, that's how it sounds when I start up the computer. Now let's see how it happens when I click on Exit Windows. Yep, it shuts down. So, yeah. Wait. Cancel that. Um, and I'm gonna have to try this again. Give me a second. Oh, and I forgot that, um, there's something on the net meeting part. It seems that a person joins, person leaves. Like, it says blip on there. I'm gonna click play on it and see what happens. That sounds like the beep from the paster test. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get out of here now. Anyway, now that we got that all taken care of, wait, 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 wait. Did I cancel it? If I, if I canceled it, then, you know what? Give me a second again. All right, I'm back. I had to fix up the sounds now because I, I forgot to click okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go find the Windows XP tour so that way I could show you all about how Windows XP is used on, you know, this is, and for, for example, we're going to go into you know, the, the Windows XP Tour version we have. It's the, the Home Edition version, which is like probably the original version. And um, on the Windows XP Professional, um, it's the professional version, which is the extended one. And you can watch it at any time. Especially the one on Windows XP Home Edition, because I like that one a lot. I've seen it on the compact laptop that I used to have, but I don't use it anymore because it's dead. So anyway, let's play it. Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft, the new version of Windows that brings your PC to life. Experience the best. Experience Windows XP. See for yourself how easy Windows XP is to use. Hey. Take this brief tour. And this tour is going to be split into two parts. Safe and easy personal computing. And since this is personal, thanks to since Windows this is part XP, seven, personal um, computing just uh, got a whole you know, lot easier and I'm more. I'm just going to wait until the intro is over. Unlock the world of digital media. Windows XP is your ticket to exciting digital media at home and on the internet. The connected home and office. Get connected. Windows XP makes it easy to share and link computers. And there you have it. That's the whole thing. Nice. To begin the tour, click any selection. Now, as you know, Windows XP Basics and Safe and Easy Personal Computing will be used for this part. But on the next part, we'll have Unlock the World of Digital Media and a Connected Home and Office. So let's play this one first. Friendly new screens, simplified menus, and a whole lot more. Discover Windows XP's fresh, streamlined design. Get acquainted with key tasks and basic commands. The Windows Desktop. Using Windows XP is simple. First, you'll see the large colored area on the screen called the Desktop, and the narrow band at the bottom called the Taskbar. Everything you can do on your computer appears inside frames that are called Windows. You can open as many windows at one time as you like and resize them, move them around, or restack them in any order. Icons. The small pictures you see on the desktop are called icons. Think of them as doorways to the files and programs stored on your computer. Place your mouse over an icon. Text appears identifying its name or contents. To open the file or program, double-click the icon. Shortcut icons, identified by the small arrow on the lower left, let you access programs, files, folders, disk drives, web pages, printers, even other computers. And because desktop shortcuts simply supply links to those files or devices, you can add and delete their icons without affecting the actual programs or files. The first time you start Windows XP, you'll see only one icon, the Recycle Bin, where you can send files you wish to delete from your computer. Taskbar. Every time you open a window, a button representing it appears on the taskbar. 
and it disappears when you close a window. That's true. The taskbar also contains the start button and notification area where you'll see the clock. I already know that. Other buttons can appear temporarily, showing the status of ongoing activities. For instance, the printer button appears when you send a file to the printer and disappears when printing is complete. Yeah, that's right. You'll also be reminded here when new Windows updates are available to download from the Microsoft website. Windows XP keeps the taskbar tidy by consolidating buttons when too many accumulate. For example, Buttons representing individual emails are automatically grouped under a single email button. Clicking the button lets you select an email from a convenient menu. Start menu. The start menu appeared automatically the first time you ran Windows XP. You can return to the start menu anytime by clicking the start button on the taskbar. The start menu contains everything you need to begin using Windows. You can start programs, open files, customize your system, get help, search for items on your computer, and more. Some commands on the start menu have a right-facing arrow. That means additional choices are available on a secondary menu. Place your pointer over an item with an arrow, and another menu appears. The left side of the start menu updates with links to the programs you use most frequently. At the top left are fixed items, shortcuts to things like your internet browser and email program. Files and folders. Your computer is like a desk with file drawers. Each piece of work or file can be stored in a folder. Windows XP makes it easy to store files where they make the most sense. Place text, image, and music files in the folders titled My Documents, My Pictures, and My Music. There's also my videos also as well. Also convenient links to the tasks you'll perform most often. Oh. Windows. Windows display the contents of files and programs. Working with Windows is easy when you know the basics. The name of the window appears at the top in its title bar. Minimize a window to shrink it to a button on the taskbar. Maximize a window to fill the screen. Or restore it to its original size. Inside a window, browse the menus to see the different commands and tools you can use. When you find the command you want, just click it. If a program needs some information from you before it can complete a command, a dialog box appears. To enter information, you might click and type, select a choice in a list, Choose just one option, or check off one or more options that you want. If the contents of your file don't fit in the window in one glance, simply scroll the window to move the contents up, down, or sideways, or drag the contents into view. Control Panel Customizing your computer settings is simple with the Windows XP Control Panel. Just open it from the Start menu. Here's where you can change the way Windows XP looks and acts, add and remove programs or hardware devices, set up network connections, user accounts, and more. Ending your session. When you want to interrupt your Windows session and let someone else use the computer, go to the Start menu. That's where you can log off and switch users, and Windows XP will be ready to welcome a different user. When everyone's finished, you can turn off the computer. The next time you log on, the welcome screen will be the first you'll see. Just click your name, type your password if you have one, and you'll be back at the Windows desktop. I'll be ending my session after safe and easy personal computing. Windows XP makes personal computing easy and enjoyable. Power, performance, a bright new look, and plenty of help when you need it. It's all here, along with unmatched dependability and security. Faster, smarter, safer. Windows XP packs the punch you need for top performance and enjoyment. You get all the power and dependability of Microsoft's most advanced operating system technology. And to ensure your version of Windows XP is always the very latest, automatic updates are available at your command from the Microsoft website. Windows XP delivers greater dependability and increased efficiency. Windows XP works harder so you can work smarter easier to learn and use. Windows XP brings a brand new visual style to your computer. Friendly, fresh, and streamlined. Cleaner lines, richer colors, smarter organization. Easier ways to get where you want to go and do what you want to do. The 
The simplified start menu automatically puts your most frequently used programs in plain view, never more than one click away. Better help for every task. Windows XP's all-new Help and Support Center is your one-stop shop for clear how-to instructions, engaging start-to-finish articles, troubleshooting advice, free product updates, and more. Find out everything you want to know about Windows XP and your computer. Should you ever need it, you can allow a support professional or a knowledgeable friend to view your screen and fix a problem for you. Special wizards give you instructions to smooth the way when connecting new devices and running new software. Delete an important file, download a program you wish you hadn't, Use Windows XP's improved system restore to turn back the clock and restore your system to the way it was before. Wait, let me play easier to learn and use again and see if I missed anything. Easier to learn and use. Windows XP brings a brand new visual style to your computer. Friendly, fresh, and streamlined. Cleaner lines, richer colors, smarter organization. Easier ways to get where you want to go and do what you want to do. The simplified start menu automatically puts your most frequently used programs in plain view, never more than one click away. The updated task oh, I forgot I've... organizes files Oh my on gosh, how did I miss that? An automatic cleanup wizard keeps everything on the desktop neat and tidy. Okay, I think that's it now. Welcome. All right, Windows I think that's enough for life. now, so I'm going to get out of here. Alright, so yeah, that will be it for the first part of the Windows XP tour. This will also conclude my seventh part of my walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. So it's time for me to turn off the computer because I need to do something quickly. I might have to check the mail soon. So let's turn off the computer. Yeah, I know this computer's old, but at least I got the sound working. All right, and listen to the shutdown sound. Here it is. There, see, it's logging off. Right here, saving your settings, and Windows is shutting down. Anyway, stay tuned for part eight on my <coughs> my walk through of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. Yeah, my foot, like my left foot's like pretty tired. Because I had it sit on the ground way too much. But anyway, stay tuned for part 8 of my walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Bye-bye. See you next time.